that's running low. Is this on? We ready to go? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Witness to me is a lot like a brothership. It's actually more, I feel like, we're warriors. We go out there, we die together, we play together, we fight together, and I got your back. Because you, I know you got mine. <laughs> I was born here and then raised in California. We, uh, we moved when I was in first grade. And um, when I moved to California, you know, we played football when you're in second grade. So it really just builds a basis for you. And then we came back here when I was <laughs> in, uh, what is it, uh, middle school. So once I came back, I had that strong football basis. And uh, I want to say I was just killing it out here because West Coast football is way, <laughs> you know, where is that? I've been with Witness for about 14 years now. I started off when I was in eighth grade. You know, my brother, he was a center, and, and uh, you know, I'd be the D-lineman getting behind him and whatnot. But uh, in, in middle school, I didn't really get to play as much because I came from California. And when I got here, they're like, ah, you know, we actually got all the people we got. So I'm like, hey, okay, you know, uh, we got West Coast football over here. No. <laughs> I really broke out of my shell junior year just to play quarterback. And um, that brought me back to Witness as well, becoming a quarterback for him. Leading out of high school, went right into semi-pro and had an amazing semi-pro career. Quarterbacking was doing a great job. Um, and I joined a new team that needed positions at different positions, which really transitioned me over to learning, or not learning, but relearning, because in California, you play all the positions in a way. Um, but just relearning all the other positions that I played as a kid. And, uh, you know, it ended up being really fun. I ended up loving how to play D-line, the linebacker again. So that was really fun. So this is actually when I started transitioning positions, still a little bit of quarterback in, right? But um, started playing wide receiver, you know, because the hands are good. Don't get me wrong. The hands aren't just here. They're here too. <laughs> all in all, all I can remember is blood, sweat, and tears with my boys. Let's relax, collective, and let's get back to basic fundamental football, okay? Get to our keys and do our job and we'll be fine. Let's go, come on. Come on. Hey, finish up three. One, two, three, finish!
Hey, it's not how much we know or what we implement, it's how much we know together, guys. Right? And that all comes in practice, right? Defense, these little things that we work out at the end here, that could be working on practice. We need to show up so we can get personnel, all right? The office, I know it's painful sometimes to watch, we gotta trust each other. We talked about that at the beginning, all right? That this, this is how it's gonna be coming to this league. But we gotta continue to stick together, all right? Hey, office, much improved from the things that we did wrong last week, but hey, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. We gotta stay hungry, keep coming out, because we got a few more weeks and the tournament coming up, yes, all right? Yes, hey, it doesn't stop here, all right? We'll celebrate this win, and we gotta move on and get to work. Walking over, man. Manila Tola. All right, guys, two minutes. Just trapped up. Two minutes. I'm good. I'm good. Break your stars on wall, man. Imagine we have everybody on board, fully healthy. Our backups, everybody, all right? Fully on board, understand what they're doing. Let's get it, and, and we're, I'm telling you right now, we're gonna get a championship. Not one one bad, all right? I want one bad for, for Coach James and Vi, they've been here for, for a very long time, okay? And I want one bad for each, for all of you guys. You guys deserve it. We put in so much work, so much time during the off season. We commit so much of our money and resources to this, to this hobby that we can play, to, to enjoy, to compete. Man, we, we commit a lot. As a Hmong person, there's a lot of eyes on you, but no one really knows who you are, you know. Um, and uh, I think there's maybe only one or two Hmong boxers out there and you know growing up I've always thought of what can I do for the Hmong people you know I'm biggest you're gonna bleep that out <laughs> bleep it out bleep it. you know I'm big you know so everyone would always look at me and be like oh hey bro you big as uh, you can go play some basketball put the Hmong people on the you know and I'm like dang I hate basketball I can't do that and then I thought you know what I think even better I'll go swim Boom, swim. I become a section finalist, the only Hmong person in Roseville. I think you can still look at this up. To, to finish in the section finals for the breaststroke and the 500. And you know, I, there's no real reward, but it's deep down in there somewhere, you know. Um, and just that fuel, the, the, the hunger to show that, you know, we warriors too. We out here. Um, sorry. I actually hurt <laughs> um, You know, we warriors too, you know, gotta put us out there. So just, yeah, we tough people, man. We tough people. I've always heard stories. I don't even know if it's true or not, but I heard stories from my uncles and stuff. Oh yeah, we're, we're straight descendants from General Wing Pao or something like that, you know? Or um, we had, we're, we're from a, Hmong emperor dude who, or not, he's not even Hmong, he's Chinese. And he found it, he, he ran away from the emperor war and went to go and um, refuge in the Hmong mountains with them. And he became Hmong through that way. And so I heard, I, I don't honestly know for sure, but when, when old people of your family start talking, they start talking and that's what I hear, you know? So, and it just, I like to think it like, oh, hey, you know what? I am a big, I am a big dude. I'm, I am of pure Vang descent. You heard what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so I just thought, you know, hey, you're, you're spontaneous, you're imaginative, you're, you're very um, flashy. You, you are the prince of monks. So I don't want to really say that in all in together, but. I am the prince because if you ain't got nobody to look at, uh, you can look at me, man. Uh, do it for the people.
In the beginning, I started boxing in the garage. We would do auto body work, so when the paint's drying, my bag's right here, and I'm just hitting the bag. Cause I was thinking, you know, what? I seen a video, I was like, Aaron Donald, how does he get his hands fast? You know, he's cha choo cha choo You know, and he said he uses knives, right? And he, he does boxing, and I was like, well, I don't want to use knives. <laughs> I'm going to try the boxing first. I got a bag and all these easy stuff that you can buy on yourself. And I did it in the garage. And I was like, I'm really liking it, you know, getting really fast. Hands are getting better. And then after the garage, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go into the gym. But I was still playing semi-pro football. So um, I was like, you know, after semi-pro football this year, I'm go, I'm go and turn amateur, you know, go, go to the gym, learn how to box for real, do it all for real. And of course, how life happens to have it, um, last game of the season in semi-pro, um, we only brought one quarterback to North Dakota and he gets injured. Well, I'm a defensive line now and I got three sacks, six tackles, you know, I was killing it, right? And it's only like the first quarter. And quarterback goes down, busts his ankle. Um, uh, they go, Jimmy, you're all we got, bro. You're the only quarterback we got here left. I look down, I'm like, bro, I'm in number 97. <laughs> you want me to play quarterback? He's like, go out there, bro, play quarterback. So I go out there, say, hut, boom, grab the ball, ah, 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 boom, first down. Say, hut, boom, grab the ball, pa, 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 boom, first down, okay? end of the half or no no end of the quarter second quarter comes in jimmy doing great bro same thing dump go so we go again down say hut boom ha 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 i'm like oh i gotta go boom run for five yards second play okay so say hut boom i look they sent the blitz now they're like oh this guy can run too and he can throw so he, this dude must be a quarterback playing defensive lines you know something like that they sent the house i i go right down the middle because that's the only hole left i go boom it's me and you you're the linebacker i'm me look that's what you see you know <laughs> boom we go he sees i line them up i see him we come together and as soon as i take that big step right he comes and ducks like kind of like scurry ducks right right into my knee i get this this bad boy right here and <laughs> uh i pretty much tore my lcl meniscus sprained my acl so my lcl got blown up actually and it what happened was it snapped right up all the way to my butt cheek and it balled up up there so what they had to do was they had to pull that down and reattach it but it didn't pull far enough, so they had to use a cadaver and reattach it to that. And then the only way you can reattach tendons is inside the bone, so they had to drill it into my bone. Same with my meniscus. I was bedridden for eight months, and then I had to learn how to walk for the next three to six months, and then PT from there. And then at the whole time, I'm laying down in bed, I'm just looking at, um, uh, his name is Sai. He, he goes to my church as well, and um, I see him in the gym. He's doing videos and stuff. I'm like, hey man, is that a real boxing gym or one of those TikTok things? I mean, uh, not TikTok, uh, one of those title gyms. And he was like, no, nah, this is a real gym. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna come in. And he was like, all right, you should do that. And we, when somebody says, oh, I'm definitely gonna come in, they're not coming in. But boom, I learned how to walk again. First thing he seen, I was walking in with a limp. He was like, Hey man, I'm, I'm coming in. I told you I was coming in. I'm, I'm ready to learn. And we haven't looked back since. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs>
beforehand, it was really just a couple guys that I knew from church that really brought me back because, you know, my brother wasn't there anymore. And um, I see Vi, I'd see Vi at church. And I actually, I worked at the, um, it's called the Dis Disciples Ministry down downstairs with the kids with um, Vi's, Coach Vi's wife. So um, it was it was family all in all together, you know, and then um, off the field, I actually trained off season and uh, would just go throw at the dome with guys, random guys, any guy, you know, and off comes one day, uh, I call him Cupcake till this day still, and uh, he, I don't know, long story short, he'd catch anything I throw at him, whether, whether he, he put his body on the line or he's wide open, he'd still catch it. Um, I think what really uh, set us apart was just the, the vibe as the kids say nowadays or I really just saw the swag you know the swag concludes with my swag you need one and two to knock them out right so um, and I couldn't I couldn't convince him to come play you know he was, he was real young still I think I met him when he was like 15 yeah 15 so I mean and uh, if you're still wondering who that guy is it's uh your QB1, Andrew Chang Bang. <laughs> that was his name back in the day, Chang Bang. So, but yeah, um, uh, and I just really thought that maybe if he was on the same team as me, you know, we'd kill it, you know? And as soon as I went down away from being quarterback, who's the quarterback, baby? Your boy. And we still killing it together, but we didn't get that one, two knockout, you know? So, um, maybe, maybe in the future, something, I don't know. There was one time me and Andrew had a sleepover at my house. It's because, um, we were actually going to go play, right? We we're going to go play, pick up football. I think it was for a church league maybe, but we made our own jerseys the night before and we were like, Dude, how are we gonna put the numbers on? We went out and bought pink, uh, pink and Super Mario duct tape and taped our numbers down. And we went out there in white t-shirts and taped numbers, just killing it. I'd be like, so it, the play was called Cupcake because I'd be out here and just be like, oh, well, Andrew's one-on-one -on -one again. Hold on, Cupcake, Cupcake, we eat it tonight. Down. So hut, boom, take the ball. Andrew's on this side. I just look over here bait off the safety, right? Boom, I'm like, oh, 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 oh fake it, fake it. Like, I'm gonna toss it, I'm like, Pfft, wide open. Whew, 40, 50 yards, I, I don't know, I was young. I tossed that thing. And you still running underneath it and just, <laughs> touched <laughs> all the time. Cupcake, so, I love that.